They're already starting to say, new year, new me, new you. How about a new IEP? How about a new IEP? The IEP you have stinks. Your present levels are, I, I don't know, what are they? Your present levels, your present levels of academic achievement and functional performance are supposed to be a way to show what the child's needs are, a roadmap, a blueprint, an architectural guide to talk about what the student's deficits are and that we would know how to address them. So at this point of the year, I know you've been toughing it out, right? You've just been like bare, you're just, you, you're going to give him a chance. You gave him a chance. First grading period. Come on, Karen, we just got here. Oh, now it's second grading period, right? Oh, it's the holidays. We're so busy. It's the holidays. Why don't you get your records reviewed? Why don't you just reach out to us and get your records reviewed? What's the worst thing that could happen? Let's say that they're doing a great job. Let's say that, and a lot of schools, many schools are. Let's say that there's something you missed that your student needs testing in, right? That would be helpful for them. What if you knew that you could have assistive technology and written expression? What if you knew that you could have in-home parent training? What if you knew that you have parent training and counseling, which is allowable under IDA? What if you could have music therapy? What if you had a robust IEP that sets your student up for gainful employment, independent living, and further education? I look at IEPs from coast to coast daily. They are a train wreck. And if your IEP is a train wreck, just the paperwork then how could you possibly expect these amazing teachers, these amazing paraprofessionals, and these amazing evaluators to do what you agreed upon? The paperwork's a wreck. So let's fix the paperwork. Let's make sure that we are negotiating successful student outcomes. Because listen, my love, you don't get the IEP you don't deserve. You don't get the IEP that was voted on and agreed upon and put in place December 2nd, 1975 or under your state statute, you get the IEP you negotiate. Let us help you negotiate successful student outcomes. There's nothing more tragic than me and our team when we see IEPs that could have been done right years ago. You know, nationally, nationally, people read at about a sixth to seventh grade level. Are you aware of that? Are you aware that most kids do not read past fifth or sixth grade? successfully with cadence and prosody and fluency. Those are just one little things that we fix in your kid's IEP. Think about investing in your kid's future, getting a records review. Just send us an email at advocate at specialeducationacademy.com. What we do is we help parents have better outcomes for their kids, giving families hope and children a future. You deserve that.